and I'm still recording. This is great, great footage. Good morning, you guys. I feel like I have not slept in months, probably because I haven't. Gus and I have been moving, and last night we just moved a bunch of our stuff, my stuff, excuse me, into the new place. Um, and yeah, it's just been a really exhausting time. I have these designer bags under my eyes, but today is a good day, Jesus, because I have furniture coming. Furnish is on their way. I actually am tracking them. I can tell when my driver's coming, um, which is incredible. So I love that that's a feature, but let me just chat about furnish before they come. Um, I probably am not gonna show you guys all the furniture I got, if any, just because I wanted to do like a bedroom tour and surprise you guys. So you probably won't see any of the furniture, maybe like one piece, one or two pieces, I don't know. But you probably won't see a lot because I want to keep it like a little secret. I decided to be collaborating with Furnish on this video and with my move because I feel like they are the resource that I have been looking for since I moved out to Seattle. I am somebody who moves a lot. You guys know this, you guys follow my journey, and it is, it is a headache moving furniture. It just is, um, and it also is not sustainable because for me, I'm the kind of person that would rather sell and then buy new furniture and then like repeat that, which I know is like dumb, but it's, furniture is heavy and it's expensive to move. And that's why I'm excited to be using Furnish because they are a furniture rental company, which is dope. They are in the Seattle area now, which is so great. Essentially what you do is you go online, you choose the furniture you want, and then you get to rent it. Uh, you get to choose how long you want it for, which is also a reason I absolutely love them because some people that move out here are only out here for a year. Some people are only out here for six months. They really allow you to choose how long you want the furniture. And then when your term is up, you get to decide if you want to continue to rent it, if you want to um, return the items and just stop renting, if you want to keep the items, which is incredible. You can keep the items and then pay the difference of what you've already paid. Insane. Or you can exchange the pieces, which is so nice, you guys, because I don't know if you're like me, but I get really sick and tired of things or I want like a different vibe. So it's really nice that you have the option to change out pieces for new ones. It's just gonna be really nice to have a bed frame and like start seeing like what I want my room to look like. And then lastly, you guys, I got you a discount code. I'm so excited. I do earn a small commission from this. So like full transparency, if you're not into supporting me, like please do not use it. But if you are wanting to use Furnish and you want some money off, the code is Rachel Waldorf, all capitalized. You get $50 off your first two months, which is a total of hundred bucks, which is a great deal. My driver's here, I'm gonna go down there. I probably won't film them because I don't really want to make them uncomfortable. Oh, always an issue. Um, but I'm excited to see how easy this goes. so sunny it's just beautiful like i feel like seattle never gets like this especially in the winter so anyways not the point of this video so furnish is on their way over they came a week and a half ago to drop off um all the things that i had ordered and i noticed that one of the pieces they dropped off had a little dent in it which honestly was doable i was like hey i just want to let you guys know that this is the case with this piece um i'm more than happy to continue using it otherwise i would love to exchange it so they give you three days which is really nice to exchange the piece um which is awesome for free so there's no fees or anything you have three days to see if you like it if you want to change it you can and that is what i'm doing i'm changing out the piece that's like a media stand i'm changing it out for a dresser just because i feel like i need that storage in my room and it's going to be a little bit longer but the same width and whatever i'm hoping that it works okay so yeah that's what they're doing today i need to go empty out the few things i have in there and then let them in so i'll show you what it looks like right now okay i'm so sorry my room is so messy so right now i have this piece which i actually really love but there was like a little dent in the back of it i need to empty this out there's a little dent in there so they're gonna exchange it and also i just want like this to be a little bit longer so this is kind of what it's looking like right so it's smaller so i feel like i could fill this wall up more um so hopefully it'll look good so yeah they're gonna take this piece although i love it they're gonna take it and i'm gonna get a dresser so i'm excited to see how it looks 
Good morning, you guys. Well, I guess it's afternoon. Brandon and I are off to Bellevue. We're gonna do some apartment shopping slash decorating. I guess we've like basically already decorated our yeah. apartment. It's almost done. It's almost done, but I feel like we need a couple more little things. So we're gonna go shopping for those today and hopefully just like finalize everything. Um, and then that way we can like show you guys an apartment tour later on, but that's where we're headed right now. Um, we're gonna do home goods and then we're gonna go to the mall and grab some stuff. But I feel like for apartment stuff, most of the stuff we want to get is at home goods. So we'll see. Hopefully we can find what we need and then we'll be done. But we're so close. I feel like that took us a solid month. It did. Yeah. So I'll take you guys along with us. I'll show you guys what we get and that's it. Let's go. Okay, we made it to home goods. We made it. I feel like I have not been to this home goods in probably a year. I come here all the time. <laughs> Brandon's right here every weekend. Literally. I hope that we can find stuff. I guess we'll see. Fingers crossed. Okay, we made it. Ooh. Okay, so we're looking for some vases, some coffee table books. I need to find some stuff for my furnished dresser. Got some cute things. Oh, this is cute. This piece of wood with the candles. Look at this tray. Did you start using your tray in your bathroom? I did. You did? Finally, yes. I'm kind of back on like, do I get something for my wall? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so they don't have a lot of coffee table books. Brandon's looking at the candles. Literally the last thing so you cute. need. <laughs> the pink one's cute though. Um, he got olive oil. I found this vase that I think I like. And then some storage things for the bathroom. They do always have really good candles. They do. Are you looking for anything else here? Let me check my note. I know, that's what we gotta do. <laughs> Getting sidetracked here. Vases too, but I didn't see any. I didn't, they don't have too many. Books, which I also didn't see any. I feel like this will look cute with the wood though. That one's cute. Which is this? It's 15. I got one We're thing. We're gonna try it. The olive oil. Olive <laughs> oil. Um, okay, so we're just getting out of Home Goods. It is a shit show. I don't know why we thought coming here on a Saturday was a good idea, but we got stuff. We did get stuff. <clears throat> Brandon got olive oil and an alarm clock. <laughs> I got the random. alarm clock's not even for me. <laughs> I know, the alarm clock's cute though. Um, and then I got a vase and then some storage things, which I think I already showed you guys. So not too much, but definitely some organizing things, which I'm excited to do. I feel like my bathroom drawers are pretty kind of all over the place. So hopefully that one acrylic one fits. But we're off to the mall right now. Brandon wants to go to CB, wow, Crate and Barrel. Too many ESCs. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to Crate and Barrel and then probably like just little stores because we need to go to Lush. Lush. <sighs> It's hard to find a Lush in Washington. It is. I didn't realize. I mean, there's the downtown one, but this one's really good. This is the biggest one in Washington state. So let's go there. Let's grab some stuff and then we'll see where we're, what we're feeling after that. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So we're just getting back in the car. It is like 5, 5 p.m., 5.20. Yikes. We've been out literally all day. Saturday is not the best day to go shopping in itself. Everyone's just out. Everyone. Which is obviously expected. Um, but we got some things, so when we get home, we'll do like a little haul and show you what we got. I got more than you. Do you want me to you start? Did. You start. Okay, I'll start. Okay. So Brandon actually picked this up for me yesterday. It's this giant piece of wood, but it's really pretty. It's cute. Um, I'm hoping to put this on the dresser from Furnish. Uh, and other things on the dresser, but I'm gonna try to make this work. If not, I'll return it, but I, th I think I wanna keep it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's super cute. It's kind of like weathered wood um, and it's pretty large. So I feel like we can make this look yeah, good. Yeah, I think right? it'll look really good. I think we'll make it look good. Um, and then we went to Home Goods today and I feel like I already showed you guys kind of what I got, but found a vase there so I'm hoping to put this like next to the wood with like flowers in it um so yeah I feel like this the color scheme kind of works well together yeah. and like for my room it's like more warm tone so yeah like this we're gonna try that out 
Um, and then I just got some storage stuff from Home Goods. This is like acrylic drawer thing. I forget how expensive acrylic is. This was $15. I know. Me I'm too. like, mm. it's so pretty though. It is, yeah. And I'm like, I could definitely like I don't know. My drawers are getting pretty messy, so I want something to keep them organized. So I hope this works. Um and then I got this little thing, just another organizer for underneath my sink for like my nail polish. All of my nail stuff's gonna go in here. And then we got some Nespresso stuff, oh, yeah. which Brandon has an espresso machine and that has been like a game changer. Uh, these are the Williams Sonoma ones. They're actually, I feel like these are probably cheaper than the- For sure. The other ones, they were like $8.99 and $7.99, I think. Um, but I'm excited to try these. I just feel like your Nespresso machine, I feel like it's better than my Nespresso it's, machine. Yeah, it's just so easy. Yeah. I like hadn't really been using it until we got here. So yeah, I'm glad, I feel like it's a revamp. I'm a big fan of it. I just, the only reason I didn't get one initially is because I wasn't sure if these were recyclable. recyclable? I don't think they are, but you can bring them to Williams Sonoma and they will like personally recycle them or reuse them. So that's what I'm going to try to do with all of them because it, it's still wasteful and I'm trying not to do that, but we'll just bring them in instead of actually recycling them. And then we got some Lush stuff, which yes. this doesn't really have to do with like the apartment, the apartment <laughs> but, but we we're got excited. bath bombs. <laughs> Brandon got me like hooked on bath bombs, which like everybody loves a good bath bomb, but he has like a little glass container full of them. And I have like a little glass container, so I wanted to put a couple in there. Um, I have no idea which ones I got. They just, some of them are Easter ones. Um, oh, your book. In a book. And I think that's kind of all I got. Yeah, I got film for her, which I've been wanting forever. Um, I'm a big fan of Orion, so I'm excited to look at this and kind of just have it as like a, de a desktop. Wow. I'm excited to look at this and have it as like a nightstand book. Um, maybe put like my lamp on it or this to the side of the lamp. So I feel like this is the vibe I'm going for too because it's like cream and like kind of a washed out green, which is yeah, fun. It's so cute. yeah, I'm excited. So that's kind of not all I got, but that's what I got. Um, I got a really so yeah. cute book. Chanel. Chanel. He, he was like wanting that one, so it was good that they had it. I know, I was super excited, so. Yeah, you'll super see. Cute. I feel like you'll see too, like Brandon has so many like really good coffee table books. I'm just not there, and he's like doing work with his coffee table books. The books, so. yeah. Yeah, it took me a long time to get them because I feel like they're kind of expensive. They are. Coffee table books are so expensive. But once I did it, I was like, worth it. Yeah. I know it'll be like exciting to see his room tour because he's got a lot of things that we can like go into detail on like where you can get them or things similar. So your bedroom tour literally could be its own video <laughs> if you wanted it to. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah, I put a lot of work into it. So. It looks so good. Yeah, be excited because it's a cute room. And then yeah, I just got a couple little things at Home Goods. A little cute alarm clock. I don't know if I'm gonna use this in my room, yeah. but I feel like it actually would look cute, cute in your room though. I know. If you wanted to. And then I always get olive oil there because they just like have these big bottles and yeah, that's, that's a good nice. deal with olive oil. from Italy. <laughs> only from Italy. That's the only kind of that's olive oil it. we eat. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that kind of concludes this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to check out the description. I will have all the information below on Furnish, um, along with like my discount codes. And yeah, I think we have some. We have an apartment tour coming up. We have my bedroom tour coming up. But we got a lot more like house videos I think, yeah. coming up. So, anyways, guys, thanks again, and I will see you very soon. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay.